Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Jesse. And this is Gabe. And we are iCarly. <laughs> I don't know what and why I said that. It just reminded me of this. Um, also, Carly was fake as hell for naming that show after herself. <laughs> anyway, so if you tuned in last week, we touched on several topics. And if you take away anything from last week, uh, it should be to never get YOLO tattooed on your dick. And that you just got to accept life for what it is. We were also informed that Jesse said like a total of 61 times in the last one. Is that real? Like, is that the official tally? Fuck. <laughs> I said it again, didn't I? <laughs> Today we're joined by our first guest, Raven, uh, Gabe's brother. He wasn't our first choice. Hell, he wasn't even our second choice. But uh, you get what you get. Uh, so anyway, let's get the show on the road. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, you know, it, it's good to be the last fucking choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't know if you want to get, get this started with any right. anything. Yeah, get, so, let the people get to know you. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to tell you the pizza story. This happened Friday. So I'm going to tell you. Of recent. Back. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to tell you the whole backstory. So me and my buddy, we were sitting there just playing a game, and he said he was hungry. So then, you know, probably like 20, 30 minutes later, he's like, all right, I'm going to go to bed. So I get this text from this girl, and she wants me to come over. I'm like, all right, you know, whatever. So I leave about 2.30 in the morning. I don't get back till about 5, 5.30 in the morning. I walk in and my friend, she's like, what are you doing? Why do you have a pizza? I, well, you just show after, up pizza? Yeah, after, <laughs> after I got done sleeping with this girl, I walked into her kitchen, opened the fridge, saw the pizza, asked her. I was like, how old is this pizza? Oh, I just got it today. Good, I'm taking this pizza. What? Hold on. I'm you just, just took a girl. Yeah. You slept with pizza, bro. And where'd you show up with the pizza? Well, where I was staying. As oh. my friend's house. Okay. Because the way I heard this yeah. was <laughs> that you showed up to the girl's place with a pizza. No, and I, I was like, wait, it was her own pizza? No, I took her pizza. No, I took her pizza. <laughs> he, took, I, he took the pizza and in return. Like, was it a full box? Yes, it was a full, like, big, like, 16 cut pizza. What? <laughs> And and I was like, and I need gas money, so she gave me gas money. Too. No <laughs> fucking way. Yes, There's no did. shot. Yes, she did. She gave me ten bucks. So what? That got did... like two gallons of gas yeah. in your tank? Yeah. Yeah. Dang. I'm I'm so fucking shook. That's in a whole different meaning of like hit it and quit it, and then it's just I'm gonna steal your fucking pizza too. Well, I was hungry. And so was my friend. Not to get weird or anything, but how good did you like give this to a girl, bro? Yeah, she, she gave, gave you money and a fucking pizza. Hold well, up. See, see, the thing is, I I need to up of, my game, bro. I don't leave with anything other than sadness. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of a lot of women that I sleep with, they tell me they love me a lot. So normally I have to leave. And That's a no go for me. If I hear that, I'm out. Yeah. Of there. <laughs> it's, normally, it's normally either the Just first or second. Him. It's normally the first or second. Pulls time. out and runs. <laughs> So, yeah, I also got another story. All right, so. <laughs> you got something else for me? Yeah. So, this, there was this girl, like, whenever I just turned 21, I was talking to her, and she's 27. When did you turn 21? In May. Okay, so recently. Yeah. She, so, she was 27, you know, she got three kids, and she's a mom. So, like, I was going to be a stepdad, because I was going to date this woman. Well... You weren't genuinely considering that? <laughs> yes. Oh, I yeah, Because the opportunity for that has presented that itself for me for that, and I'm just, that's a no-go. I I don't know. I thought, you know, I thought she was pretty hot. I'm so like, fuck it. I, I'm, I'm 19. That's that's not for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it, it is what it is. But anyways. So, <clears throat> the one day, she asked me to go down to the bar with her. I was like, you know, fuck it. You know, why not? So, I got down to the bar with her, and we're just sitting there drinking, and we don't leave till, like, Maybe one, two o'clock in the morning. And her house is like, I'm not kidding you, like a hundred feet from where this bar is. And um, so we're sitting there and we're walking and I'm getting ready to leave or just crash in my fucking car. And we're hugging and it's like, she's still hugging me for like five minutes and I'm like, okay, what the fuck? And she starts squeezing me. Like I had, I told her, I was like, you're fucking like choking me right now. <laughs> she's sitting there and she starts like scratching my whole back and doing all what? this so i was like all right i know where this is going kinky motherfucker that's where it's going <laughs> so then I sit, and then i'm making out with her and i start picking her up 
and we start walking. She's like, I got a van. And you were still outside of yes. the bar? No, we're outside of her house. Outside of her house. Yes. And she's like, I got a van. So we go to the van in the garage and then... In the, the van was in the garage? Yeah, the van was okay. in the garage. And I'm sitting there, you know, I'm doing my thing. And Your I'm, thing. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're going to call it. And, and like, I'm going down on her. And next thing I know is like her dad walks behind me, doesn't say anything while I'm going down on her daughter. Her daughter? His, his. his daughter, sorry. <laughs> and he just goes over and starts fix, fixing his bike. And we just hear this noise. And she's like, Dad, is that you? And he's like, yeah. He's like, who's that you got with? And he's like, oh, that's just Raven. Oh, I kind of figured that was. And then <clears throat> and I start, when we start doing back up again, because I thought he left. No, he was still in there as we were still fucking so he's outside of the van working on the bike and yeah. you guys are in the van in the garage yeah and he comes over and he's like raven you know if i didn't like you so much because your damn sexy ass hair i'd probably beat your ass but goddamn boy i'm proud of you i could hear her all the way in the house what the fuck i was like okay <laughs> Bro, so, <laughs> and I the actual. The, Why I did like the, the dad head. say it, bro? Why did the dad say I'm proud of you? I you, you, your guess is as good as mine. Have you, you just... met him on Grinder before? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's he's like... lying. <laughs> and then when because I, I was on top of her, the dad goes, "Not gonna lie, I'm kind of jealous." <laughs> <laughs> I wish you'd do that to me, bro. <laughs> But yeah, I'm on top of her, and I start, but like, I was sitting there, I'm like, what the fuck? Was the van comfortable, at least? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. This was the most uncomfortable, it was like, you know those, like, caravan vans, those, uh, yeah, it was a caravan, I don't know. It's like, I don't know, I was picturing, like, a Volkswagen bus, no, like, a very no, old ass van. I was thinking, no. too. I was thinking of the Scooby-Doo mystery machine, bro. <laughs> no. But I start to realize, and I'm looking, I got rug burned on my knees from doing this because like i was like thinking i was like i had fucking pants on like i only pulled it down just enough but like i had pants on how the fuck do you get rug burn with pants on i don't know man are you sure that there was there isn't more to this story where like your jeans rip or something bro? no, no <laughs> i was like because these were the pants that i was wearing these were the exact pants i will <laughs> i was wearing that day you, do you see any holes in these pants? No. no. My question is, is, do you wake up the next day confused that, did I spend a lot of time on my knees last night? Do I need to look back on that? Well, no, because I remembered. That's the thing. <laughs> I remembered. I like I was on my knees going down on her on the like the concrete floor. And then whenever we were, I was getting into it, I got in the van with her. You started on the concrete floor yeah, in the I, garage. Yeah, because whenever I was going down. Yeah, that's probably what fucked you up. Yeah, probably. Because I wasn't about to be in. Because she still had all the seats up. That was the mistake. She didn't take the seats out. Bro, what? I don't know that it would have been any better with the seats out. It's like she had one well, seat. Well, at least it's more room. She had one seat, like one of the the captain seats. And then she had like the back row seat. And that was it. There was no, So we just literally did this in the one spot where the other seat wasn't. That sounds like it was tight quarters. It, it very much was. While we're on this, I do want to touch on the fact that, like, there is so much that goes into car sex. It's just fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Especially for a tall guy like me. Yeah. It just doesn't work. I don't fit in my front seat. You expect me to get in my back seat to have sex with you? <laughs> it's like, I get back there, my knees are at my nipples, and it's like, well, what do I, where do I go from here? I can't just, get in there. You just gotta sit down and just put on top. Bro, what do you mean? His uh, feet will go to the front seat. My, my knees eyes. will be through you just, her. You just gotta be like this and be like, all right, let's get this. Bro, <laughs> they're, they're literally gonna be thinking that literally Jesse's dick is his knee. That's how far they're gonna be in there. I don't bro. think they'll make that mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not a mom friendly episode so no, far. Uh, no, it is not. Oh, oh my. Yeah. Yeah, no, it just doesn't work for me. Also, front seat d doesn't work either, because now that I got, like, an actual car, it's just ass on steering wheel the entire oh. time. Horn, horn, horn. So, I'm just like doing a passenger seat. 
That's a good point. I never thought about it. Like, because yeah. I remember the one day my friend, she's like, why is the seat so far back? Passenger? Yeah. And it's like, why do you think oh, the seat's so far back? Oh, forgot to move it, my bad. <laughs> got, <laughs> got a little busy last night and I forgot to move it back up. Because, like, my seats and my car go all the way back. Mine go pretty far back, too. Although I have a hatchback, and I was considering, you put the seats down in the yep. hatchback, there was so much room back there. my car is a hatchback, too. And I can do that with my with my seats, too, but I just haven't done it yet. I'm I'm going to make a thing out of it. Pillows, blankets, it's going to be a ride. Literally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It'd be nice. It would. Dang. How many times we're talking about sex tonight? We might might as well be at an amusement park for talking about how how many rides y'all having. I wasn't sure where that was going. Yeah, I, I was either. very confused for a <laughs> yeah, second. I was like, what the fuck do you do? No, y'all talking park? about rides and shit. Might as well be talking about amusement park. Fuck amusement parks. That is true. But also fuck in amusement parks. That I have never done. I have never. I fingered a girl in a music park. It was Kennywood. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> it was. You know, okay, so you know the cafe area? Oh, fuck. I yeah. have a story there. Right I work there, there. Right there. I did no, it right there hold on. Everybody. Everybody. Hold on. Don't, don't tell me. Because it was, it was one of my ex-girlfriends. How long was this ago? This was I worked I, at Kennywood This before. was like whenever I just turned 18. So this was like around May. So, yeah. In May 2018. Yeah, that that's too early. Or too late. I have a story from whenever I worked at Kennywood. So, I think it was the 4th of July. Yeah. I went in to clean the bathrooms because that was part of my job. I was like a busboy. Yeah. And when I went in there, I like pushed on the stall mm -hmm. and it was locked. So, I, oh, I'll come back another time. As I'm stepping back, I look under and just for shits and giggles, and there was four legs under there. So I was like, okay, we'll give them a little bit, you know? <laughs> Come back a few minutes later. The motherfuckers didn't flush the condom. They left it sit in there. That's great. Even better, this happens so often that the manager has a claw grab thing like that they use to fish them out of there. Oh, that's great. And they're like, oh, oh, I'll handle it. This happens all the time. I was like, how often does this shit happen? I mean, the cafe is the nicest spot to do it, probably. Other than Johnny Rockets would probably be the only, like... I mean, yeah. But, like, but uh, apparently the spot is behind the Thunderbolt, which is why they fenced that off. Oh. What? Yes. <laughs> you didn't know about that? No. Yeah. It, you used to get behind, be able to get behind the Thunderbolt, like, my first year working there. And the same year, they fenced that all in. Because people were just, they were just banging back there, like, nonstop. So many cases of it happening that they had to do something about it. Uh, the one really... you told me last time? Yeah. That we cut? Yeah. <laughs> we Does he cut. know this? No, he, he knows about it, but he doesn't know my perspective. Okay. Oh, wait. This is going to be good. Okay. Wait, I don't know which story. Okay, so. That's even better. So, the basically. <laughs> so, basically. I don't know how... It, it was months ago, though. You said it was roughly... You you think it was October or December is what you told me. Yeah, it was well, somewhere... Was last year. Yeah, that was... Yeah, exactly. You said but, months ago. Yeah. That, I mean, it was. He's technically, technically not wrong. <laughs> but anyway, so... Literally, I wake up at... I think 11 or 12. Before this, I was just trying to fix my sleep schedule. Normally, I don't go to sleep till late. But I was trying to fix my sleep schedule. I wake up to the sound of a banging on the door and a light flashing in. Now, I just woke up, so I'm not fully awake, but I really thought, I was just like, dang, it's really my time. His Jesus. He's come here to take me. I don't know why that is my first thought that came to my head when I woke up, but that was. And I go over to the door, and I'm like, and I realized it was a cop. And they're like, so are you Gabe? I'm like, yeah, and in my head, I'm like, what did I do? I've been at home all night, so what did I do? Is sleep in a crime now? I don't know, but Probably. I woke up, and 
Well, he's just like, well, we have your younger brother in the back of our car. I'm like, um, which one? And he was just like, he says his name. And I'm like, well, what did he do? Oh, he's just out past Kirk. You know, he's coming around the corner, coming up to the house. I'm like, okay, well, what do you need? He's just like, well, are your parents home? I'm like, no, they're both at work. And then basically he just goes back to the car and gets, uh, my little brother to call both of my parents. Obviously my mom wasn't too happy about this because when he got inside and talked to my younger brother, it was not pretty. We'll just say that much. But the whole entire situation was just very stupid on my brother's part. The fact honest. that you thought it was God was your first thought <laughs> when you saw a light outside your window. My first thought whenever I see a light outside my window if I wake up in the middle of the night, it's not going to be it's God. It's going to be I got to get strapped. <laughs> no, I really thought I woke up. I'm like, it's my time. Which would have been even more awkward if you open the door and it's like, oh, hello, officer. Don't mind the gun I'm holding. <laughs> I, I, I live in the country. We don't get many visitors. Everyone's packing. So don't just hate me. Hey, everyone. <laughs> yeah. so go knock on their door. I bet they're packing too. Okay. So we decided that we're... Do we want to start this as a new segment called Bullshit or Not? Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do for the next one, but this one is going to be astrology or just horoscopes in general, I guess. More so traits. So we all pulled up each other's signs and traits associated to that. So we're going to go through and whether, say whether we think any of these actually apply to any of us. Yeah. Do you so, want to start, Gabe? Yeah, I will. So, for the Leo. Which is me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, affection, warm, and, cheap, and cheerful people. Leos can be counted on to bring sunshine into other people's lives. Dignified, playful, ambitious, and loyal. They're known for being especially... Ugh. Words are hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, basically, just saying that you're really generous. On the so basically, side. just describing a golden retriever dog is that what that's that's what that sounds like, and I mean, the f amount of people that say that I have a golden retriever personality. Uh, but on the negative side, they can be quite egotistical and demanding, intolerant, demonitary, lazy, and stubborn. I don't know about lazy and stubborn. Oh, well, I know stubborn, but uh, I'm only lazy when I choose to be. Like if yeah, there's something, the I, if there's. <laughs> You think? No, it's just funny. I don't think I'm very egotistical, but everything in the beginning of that, like the positive traits, they sounded pretty accurate. I'm not going to lie. And that works. But I don't know. I don't think you're egotistical. Definitely not. What were the other ones? Uh, Towards the end there? Oh, stubborn. Yeah, definitely. But the lazy portion is, I, I don't, I'm only lazy if it's something I don't want to do in general. Intolerant? Intolerant. Demanding. Yeah. And. Dementary? I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what that says. I can't read. I'm a little bit. Domineering, dumbass. Domineering? Yeah. What does that even mean? Look it up. No, I don't want to look it up. What does it mean? <laughs> I couldn't tell you a definition off my off the top of my head, but like I have a general. What What's consensus. the general? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is either, so... Now we're all just fucking dumbasses. Yeah. Move okay, <laughs> move on! <laughs> Moving on! Raven, what do you got? And who's that for? It's the Libra. It's the male that's for Gabe. Creative, enthusiastic, and lively. A Libra man is open-minded. He has a contagious zest of life that allows... Zest! Him <laughs> that allows him to inter interact with and, and inspire all sorts of people in extraordinary ways. Among the most sociable of all Zodiac men... He probably has an extensive network of friends and a hectic social life. Which that is very true. That, that is, is so, so true. fucking <laughs> accurate. That is extremely true. We're not gonna talk about that. But that is, that is, is there is any like, like negative? No, it just that's all it gave me. There was no negatives. Yeah. Hi. Get Damn. <laughs> all but, right, so I I got Ravens pulled up. We got Taurus mail traits, and uh, <laughs> I don't know how well I know you, but we're gonna find out. All right. So we got generous, yeah. extremely focused, loyal, patient, yeah. Yeah. determined, kind-hearted. Yeah. 
prefer simplicity. That sounds like you. <laughs> Nothing complicated. Gotta avoid at all costs. Good business people. Huh. Yeah. See, actually, Stable. Yeah. I don't know about that one, know. though. Goal-driven. Loves the outdoors. Yes, I love the outdoors. Okay, here's your negatives. Materialistic. Stubborn. Yeah. What? Stubborn. Yeah. Self-indulgent. Lazy. Yeah. Prone to burnout. Overly yeah. productive. Opinionated. Yeah. Yeah. And often called dull. That's, a, that's no, a weird uh, yeah. one. Yeah, I've never, that I've is never an oddly dull. specific trait that it's like, oh, a lot of people call you dull. Yeah, no, I've never been I, called I, dull. I was about to say, I don't think I've ever heard anyone call him dull. I wouldn't even say he's I, dull. Absolutely not. I mean, I know there's like another trait. I don't think anyone who I, listened to the first two stories you told are going to think you're dull. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I've also heard about Tarses. They're very um, honest. They're brutally honest. Yeah, that... I, I will tell you how it is. I yeah. mean, you can ask my friends. I will tell you how it is. I Not a care. bullshitter. Yeah. yeah. That's the I'm bad in the same true. way. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, if, if you don't like what I have to say, not my problem. That's exactly. 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 Yeah. So, so I, in conclusion, do we think bullshit or not? Because, let me, let me start, all right? The traits match up. However, I'm still not sold on horoscopes and everything, like, delving into oh, that whole thing. I mean, I They're you. so generalized, and you you heard how many characteristics we listed. You're bound to find at least one in there. Yeah. Yeah. And there's probably going to be at least one that's wrong. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, well, they can't all be right, because... Uh, yeah, yeah Gabe for whatever reason, no, Gabe right. was very spot on for some. Did you just look up Gabe character <laughs> traits? <laughs> I mean, I might as well have. Basically, know. what are your opinions? Bullshit or not? I mean, obviously I, for me, bro, it works. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I still think it's bullshit. I don't. I think the whole zodiac thing is stupid, but that's my opinion. I think it's very stupid. Yeah, my mom told me one thing, and it. it I carry this with me all the time. Is if a girl ever asks what time you were born, run the other way. Really? Yes. Be, my mom heard. said that to me. I think. I don't think I've ever had a girl ask I, me yeah, what time I was born. The the idea behind that is, is if they find the time you were born, they could basically find your horoscope or just zodiac, all your uh, that okay. it kind of information what? to a T. It gives them a way more exact representation of it because. Once you get the date, time, year, and like the actual like hour mark, yeah, then it can pull in moon and planetary alignments too, because it's just one big system, yeah, and it'll give you a more exact thing, and then they'll be like, oh look, it says toxic in there, and they'll be like, never mind. Yeah, but I'm so confused. I don't, I don't know how that can be accurate. Uh, it's never, it's never. Nobody's ever asked me it, but well, no, I'm, not I'm, even that. I think I'd still run the other way if somebody asked. Yeah. But I don't like, think anything can actually be proven that that person is how they are just because they're born on a certain day. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. uh, upbringing, I think, is the big one. Yeah. I don't think it's so much how you were born. I think it's how you were raised. Yeah. That's that's how it mostly is. I mean, it's like you can't judge someone off their zodiac sign. You got to judge them by how they were raised. Yeah, but you got to also think about it like this. Me and... Me and my older brother were literally growing up in the same household, growing up the same way. But we're two different people and we act completely different. Me, I'm more of a excited and, you know, like... Usually Are I'm you laughing. saying he's not excited? No, not that. But I have more, like, energy to me. He seemed pretty excited when we called him, alright? Yeah, Even We just didn't tell him that he was our, like, very last choice. Okay. Yeah. Well, besides that, I'm talking about, like... And the only option at that point... <laughs> So, we're going to roll into what may become a segment in the future. Not sure what we're going to do with it. If you like it, let us know. But we probably will be posting Q&As on our Instagram after every episode and going through your questions to answer random ones. But for now, we just have some of our own because we didn't get any last time that we're going to ask that we think would be kind of fun for the three of us to bounce off of each other. And the first one we got is, what is your biggest illogical fear? So, do you want to start? Yeah, I have a friend who has a fear of every time she sits on the toilet, that silly string is going to come out. 
Of what? Of the toilet. And what? <laughs> yes, yes. She this is a, this yes, is an actual yes. thing. She has a fear that silly string is gonna come out. She, I told her, I was like, you realize that's physically impossible for something like that to happen. She says, well, you never know, something could happen. And I'm like, bitch, how the fuck is that gonna happen? <laughs> There's no that way. Is, There's that no might way. be the funniest one I've heard. Silly string. What is yours? I d I don't really have one personally. It's just. I, my fears are more real than what they are like what are your biggest what's your biggest fear my in general bi my biggest fear yeah in general my biggest fear is that i don't want to turn out like uh, my real dad yeah okay so speaking of dads um <laughs> i'm gonna roll into what my to say huh <laughs> yeah. oh, yes, oh yes, because yes, we don't have one oh, oh, neither do i hey well ours is dead <laughs> yeah he my died of leukemia Mine's dead to me. Oh, well, fair enough. Well, he's dead <laughs> to us and actually. <laughs> anyway, so speaking of dads, mine is still living. So my biggest illog illogical fear is that one day I'll sleep with a girl and she'll take me home to meet her parents. And her dad will turn out to be my actual father and I'll find <laughs> out I just fucked my sister. That is my biggest oh, fear because it's great. something that can happen because I know he still lives in the state. And he has kids. I don't know how old they are, but he could have a daughter that could be my age. And what if what if I like fuck? Oh my god! And she just takes me home, and I've seen him before in passing, so I know what he looks like. Just imagine just walking into the room and looking at him and knowing that that is I gotta leave at that point. Just sorry, so, I gotta go. It's like so you hey, dad, there, I haven't seen like, you in a while. <laughs> hey, dad, haven't seen you like ever. Where you been? What you been up to? Fuck you. <laughs> oh, and I fucked my sister, too. So. <laughs> yeah, that piece. <laughs> and that's it. Do you have a big illogical fear? I don't have any, really. Like, I have actual fears, but I don't have any, like, ones that don't make any sense, really. Mine doesn't not make sense. Well, it's no, just it's something even, that it, like, I'm you talking, wouldn't normally be scared yeah. of. Because that's plausible. That shit could happen. Well, yeah, <laughs> no. I'm talking about, like, mine's, like, about the same as Raven's. Like, I don't want to turn out, like, Obviously, my biological father. Uh, but you don't want to turn out dead. Is that what I'm... Well, I mean, in a sense, yes. <laughs> yeah, but in general, too. Like, obviously. And then I would guess, I would say probably my second biggest is either heights or drowning. Really? Yeah. Drowning. Yeah. That's an is it It's true? your fault, too. It's not... It's Hold not on. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. I need, is there a story behind yeah. this? Okay, let's so hear it. So listen, I, where were we? I think it was Deep Creek, if you know where that is. Yes. We were in Deep Creek, and we were swimming around, and this motherfucker right here thought it was funny to dunk me when, mind you, I was like, I was, what? You're like eight? seven or eight. Yeah, I'm seven or eight years old. This motherfucker's dunking my head underwater. I'm... And he hugged my head under for quite a while. I was scared half to death. I come back up, crying in tears, barely not being able to breathe. And I'm like, Mom, he tried drowning me. <laughs> but literally, the only reason I had that fear is because of him. Literally. That's the only reason. Well, it was funny at that time. Oh, see, uh, I had if, a... if, I, if, my, if my dead body floated to the surface, oh. it would because he'd be floating. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound pretty comical. What's up, PBS? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had had a fear of being buried alive. I no longer fear that. Wait, didn't we? Don't you remember when we went to a uh, Hundred Acre Manor? That's why I don't have a fear yeah. of it. Yeah, was because I did the. The casket ride is what they call it, where they, they put you in a casket and it simulates being buried alive. And I was like, oh, well, this isn't really that bad. It's kind of cozy in here, I'm not going to lie. And then they had Tom Savini walking you through your whole burial, and I was like, well, that's pretty sick. Like, I, all I heard was Tom Savini. I was like, sign me up, take my money. Yeah. And I don't know. I was like, well, it's really not that bad. I mean, the slow suffocation part is what actually scared me, because it's like, that's probably the worst way to go. It's just, yeah. you know you're slowly losing oxygen. And there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Speaking mm -hmm. of Hunter Acre Manor, the first time, that was the first time I ever went to a haunted any, house. Yeah, a haunted ever. house. You were scared as I was fuck. so scared. Literally, I, I didn't was jump a single time. And this man, okay, somebody, a, a gust of wind would come and he'd be like, 
Bro, it's, listen, I was scared so terribly. Mind he you, was he, clutching I, my hood I and was, stretching I the was. hood out of my hoodie. <laughs> Just, I have, my, the first time I ever went to um, a haunted house, it was a demon house. Yeah. And this was like, I don't know, God, I was like 15 years old, 15, 16. And it was me and a group of friends because we're going for a birthday. So my, my, I, we were all standing in line and my buddy is right in front of me. So he's afraid of chainsaw like clowns. And there was a, cl- a guy with the clown mask and a chainsaw. I know exactly who that is too. <laughs> and he, I'm not kidding you when I say this, he jumped up on me and was holding me. So I had to hold him throughout the whole entire I thing. wouldn't have been able to help, hold you, but you were borderline about to do that. <laughs> bro, I really was, bro. Every gust, actually, I think it was my backpack. I think I had a drawstring yeah, bag had on a- and you were like pulling that. I tried to walk forward and this man be like pulling me back whenever. It- <laughs> there was so many air compressors because it's all just basic jump scares there. Yeah. Because they don't have actors, they never do. Oh, yeah. It's all just animatronics and like this pops is, up. But yeah, air. but a lot of the times we would come around the corner. And it's just like, hey, before they were there, and then I would I still just get knew, scared. I work at a haunt. Yeah, he works at a haunted house. So I know, I know like the ins and outs of things. He so. didn't, but he didn't. The funny thing was, the whole entire time he was just like, hey, you know, hi. Bro, that's a really good... Co- Bro, you remember the guy with the really good costume? Yes, I clapped for that man. That was the only man. I was like, you were genuinely scary. I mean, I'm not scared, but that was amazing. Yeah. That was fabulous, coming from another actor. Yeah. But, yeah. And the I, costume design was just insane for that it guy. It really was. It actually was. I but, think I think it was like a xenomorph. I think they had like a full xenomorph like themed area that year uh, that we went. Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken. Huh. Not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i mean i mean we can also go into the next segment of things that people say to you when when they oh yeah scared. yeah the first the yeah segment from episode one we could i i kind of forgot about that one being a haunt actor you do hear a lot of messed up things that people say <laughs> this one's pretty good so this girl was walking up the path. I, this this year, I was running the front of the house. Yeah. So I would guide people into the front of the house. But I would go up to the front, give them a signal, and then I'd come back out to scare one more time. I was on my way into the house for the first time to give the signal. And I hear a girl go, I feel like I'm going to pass out. I came back around the corner, jump scared them. This girl fell straight to the ground, immediately just blacked out. Oh, my God. Well, that's not necessarily a messed up thing that I've heard. That's just one of the wild encounters that I've had there. What is even funnier is I had to get on the radio and radio my boss. And I was just like, I just made a girl pass out. This motherfucker's response was, did she smell you? <laughs> <laughs> that's a very good response. The thing was, it wasn't him saying that I smelled bad. It was him saying I wear too much cologne. That's what oh. it was. <laughs> Uh, you put just take the whole bottom. Like, All right, this one must do today. This is, yeah, this is this is the scary sense. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, got that Invictus. Also not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Good cologne. If you're looking for a cologne, buy Invictus. Not sponsored. By the not way. sponsored, but buy Invictus. But. But don't pay full price for it. Go to like Gabe's or something and buy it. Like not like him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like Gabe's me, the store and buy it like an eight, for eight bucks because it retails for eighty. But oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, good cologne, my guy. They must be adding something to Gabe's to make it eight bucks. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know how they pull that off. Yeah, I never understood discount stores. I didn't either. How how do they how, how are they making their money back if they're selling everything for cheaper? Know. Mostly anything that I've ever... It's a scam. <laughs> mostly, all, I can't say everything that I've bought from Gabe's, but majority of things that i bought from Gabe's, like underwears and packs, I'd open them up and there'd be a hole in the crotch. Really? Yes. You know there's supposed to be a hole in the crotch. That's how you piss out of them, right? No, oh like, 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 legit, like, someone, it's like someone, it's like someone decided... Like, Listen, you know hey, who I'm, I'm a... talking to. I need to clarify <laughs> that that's... A... <laughs> but, like, it's, it looked like someone just cut a hole, like, right, like, right where the crotch was at, and it's like... Yeah, the, the, you're supposed to Listen, piss out of that. I'm not talking about that hole. <laughs> no, like, I don't know. but Or I've had pants that have had holes and like where the ass cheeks are. I've had shirts that have ho- had holes in the ar- like under the armpits. 
And I'm like, I actually have had, had that boat before. I've like, never had that problem. Yeah. So we got distracted by the haunt story, and we do have another fun Q and A style one that I think would be good for all of us, which is out of everyone here, like the three of us who we think would die first in a horror movie. Not necessarily a slasher movie. We can split this into two things. Slasher and paranormal movie. Because, and I'm just going to go first. Straight up, the slasher, out of stamina, I beat both of you. Oh, yeah. I yeah. Mean, I'm, I'm out running at any killer. Oh, yeah. But, listen, also, you got to think about the smart things. Because me and Jesse, we also watch horror movies almost on a daily basis. I mean... So, yeah, but Raven. So to me and my one friend, we wa we're we literally, like, watching horror movies all the time before we go to bed. Yeah, so do I. So. I don't I don't know. But also, you if you want to hear a horror movie review podcast, let us know. Yeah, true. Self-plug. <laughs> <laughs> but, I don't know. I I know that, I feel like it would just be either out of stamina, or it's just out of smarts and wits. That could be another thing. Definitely did not have that. Yeah. What are you I, talking Gabe, about? I'm, Gabe, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, Gabe. I hate to do it to you, but I think you're dying first. Yeah. He'd yeah, definitely probably. be the first one dead. He'd, he'd be like, look at this idiot right here. He's going to go for you first. He, you know what he's going to be? He's going to be that guy that's like trying to walk in GTA, or trying to get in a car, and he like glitches out. Yeah, <laughs> that's Gabe. <laughs> that's, okay. that's pretty accurate. Yeah. But, I, I hate to do that to you, but, but if they're... It, we are in the middle, basically the middle of nowhere right now. Oh, then if, yeah, I'm if, fucked. <laughs> if there was a serial killer ready to kill all of us here, yeah, I'm fucked. I I think you're you're biting the dust. No. I I know how to get to the safe. <laughs> <laughs> None of you guys know that. I don't even. I, I didn't even realize you had one until you said, said that. exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm dead. But yeah, and then Raven personally. Oh, well, I mean, I am... It's going to be a close one between you and me. Yeah, probably. But I'm also not... I think one of us would fuck each other up, like, like sacrifice the other just to be free. <laughs> and well, it, would be, it would be a fight over that, and you're definitely beating me in strength, but I could beat you in speed. That's about oh, yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. That's but... the only way you beat a bigger opponent. Yeah. <laughs> but now to go to the spiritual side, Jesse, you're, you're done for. You're done. <laughs> why though literally bro well, you mess around no he messes around way i wouldn't say mess around but you're crazy he's been, no he's you're been crazy. around way too much spiritual shit to not have get, gone possessed at one point you're crazy so if, <laughs> if there's a demon in this house this man is most likely to get in that yeah and possessed yeah you're crazy unfortunately he's right yeah oh. And I, I don't know if it would come down to you two. I don't know who, who else would be. I don't know. I, like, I'm not going to lie If you. I was possessed, oh, I'm you. fucking both of you up. Oh, yeah, <laughs> well, obviously. Yeah. You got yeah. the demon strength. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, and, and and the speed. I mean, you can't outrun I mean, me in leg. No. You, yeah. you can't beat me in leg. No. You got them long legs, man. Yeah. And the, the torso and the arms. Yeah. I'll be fucking crawling from floor to ceiling. Instantly, <laughs> back you, bending and... But if you crawl from floor to ceiling, this ceiling, bro, you... <laughs> you, know, you have to do, you have to do I don't even need... I just get a jump and stick to it like <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> Oh, bro. But yeah, but like me and Gabe, we have like experiences with like some like that kind of stuff too. Yeah. So like, I guess. No, but I, the stories that he's told me, I have a lot. More. Yeah, uh, it's probably a lot, a lot worse. More. I interact. I interact with spirits almost on a daily basis. Yeah. What the fuck, God. Yeah, he's. he's I've stupid. seen. <laughs> I've seen the dead since I was like a kid. I yeah. mean, so have we. So yeah. like, hey, our mom used to tell us like, hey. Whenever you guys were young, you used to play with a little girl in the house. Yeah. She never could see her. Yeah. My mom never believed anything that I would tell her. She'd just be like, ghosts aren't real. And then, like, the most vivid memory that I have is probably one night after, like, my great aunt, which would have been my grandma's brother's wife. Yeah. Simplest explanation. No. Had passed. I woke up one night and she was sitting at the foot of my bed singing a lullaby she used to sing the night before, and I immediately knew it was her. So I was I was scared because I was like, "She's dead." Yeah. But it didn't like frighten me to a point where I felt I was in any danger. But I yeah. still went to my mom. 
she didn't believe me. But from that point forward, it's probably when I started yeah. seeing them almost on a regular basis. See, I don't I don't normally see them. I normally hear them. They like they like to talk to me. I can sense presences. I see for me, I start to see like I like for me, I start like seeing flashes or like sometimes if I'm looking around I'll see like dots going everywhere. That's how that's how I know. But I normally I normally they talk. They like they'll say, Hey, don't mess sometimes they know who I am, but majority of the time they'll be like, Hey, or I've heard help. I've heard a woman screaming. I've heard a woman crying. I don't think I've had many vocal ones. Usually I'm the one that like speaks because when it comes to spirits, you have to treat like they used to be people. Treat them with the respect that oh, yeah. you expect to be treated with. So it's if you if they are bothering you, the most respectful way that you can ask a spirit to leave is by just respectfully saying, "Hey, I I, I know you're here. I feel you, or I see you, or whatever. I would appreciate if you could please like go like go away. No, uh, I sorry. thank I thank you for your greeting me with your presence or whatever. Like you just." And 90% of the time, they will ease off. And it, it's just a trick that I've learned. I, I freak people out sometimes whenever I tell them, like, without knowing a lot about their backstory, I'll be like, do you have, like, that grandfather, uh, there's a male energy that likes to follow you around, and he's very protective, maybe like a father figure. Yeah. Or both, because I felt too with somebody that I was with the other night. <laughs> And, Fair enough. Yeah, I. It's just the trick that I picked up. I don't know how I, I got it, but it's just it's a thing. And we will definitely talk about more stuff like this when we start that supernatural podcast eventually, yeah. where we want to talk about cryptids and urban yeah. legends and yeah, because I have some. I've got some stories with that too. Yeah, if, that'd be a fun one. Yeah, because I have many stories with that. I'm pretty sure Gabe also has many I do. stories with that too i'm pretty sure we have one from the same exact house too our one friend who me and you yeah oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah and I, and also we could probably get him on and tell his personal experiences if he's down maybe maybe i don't know if he would be okay with it but also we gotta remember that that podcast i do want to do with bring other people into yeah. also because they want to be a part of that so we do gotta stay tuned. We're we're gonna get this one off the ground first. That's our main plan. And then if you like hearing us talk about these things, let us know, and we'll we'll get to work on those other ones. Yeah. If that's something you want to hear more, but we're still gonna stick to the comedy one that we got going on right now. Yeah. You know what I think is funny is that a lot of Gabe's friends, like that he plays with online, think I'm a sexy motherfucker. <laughs> Bro, I really do not understand. I don't, okay. I don't, and like, I don't, I don't get it. Cause like most of them are guys and they all say, man, <laughs> damn, your brother's sexy as fuck. I'm like, it's Bro, gotta be the hair. Listen, it, it no, is, no, no. it is. But no. I don't know why so you pull so many girls okay. the way you look. Yeah. I, I don't get it. I don't get fuck it. Like no offense, Gabe, you know, I love you, but yeah, come on, Gabe. Like, what are you doing how are you doing this? You got like a mind trick, Jedi mind trick. You want to like teach the rest of us? He's like, you will go out with me. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's even what like he that, pulling. bro. That's not even like He that. doesn't even try. And I don't. Got... I don't mean to. And then you send girls to my way. And, they... and then they just shoot you down for some reason. Yeah, or I fuck it up somehow. Literally, I, I sent you some tonight. Some <laughs> girls snapped tonight and I added her and I never got the ad back. I don't think I will. Yeah, I don't know. Also, she might be in a different time zone, so who, who the hell knows? Yeah, because oh, you know no, that... she's from the states, so. Oh, never yeah, mind. That, that, one, that one girl. Way you... to make me feel bad. <laughs> yeah, because that one girl that you were talking to said I was good looking too. She's called me baby girl. Bro. Also, is, is that the first time you've been called baby yes, girl? That is the first time I've ever been called baby girl. That's not my uh, bro. If someone else called me baby girl, that wouldn't be the first time either. Literally, so many of my guy friends online will call me baby girl. He too. said that was the first time. That, that. That's the first time for me. I've never had a girl call me baby girl. You've never had a girl call you baby girl? No. Damn. I mean, I don't he like it. He probably got the ba you're the baby daddy one before. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a few close calls. <laughs> right. 
That's not good. <laughs> yeah, but you know, there's use contraception, kids. <laughs> you know, there's there's this there's this thing called Plan B. Yeah. Yeah, it's expensive as hell, but and it, works. it doesn't work Wait. all the time. Uh, did you know I actually inside of a pregnancy test, there's a Plan B in it. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, you didn't know that. What? Why would I know that? I don't go out buying pregnancy Listen, tests. I, I, it wasn't even like that. I was. I don't remember TikTok. why I was. Huh? TikTok. I don't even think it was TikTok. I don't even watch TikTok like that. But it was literally. I saw it on YouTube somewhere. I don't remember why they were talking about it, but I. What YouTube? Oh yeah, wait, no. Vlog channel is... No, it wasn't a YouTube. It, it was a. I think it was a movie. Um, what movies are you watching? It had Ashton Kutcher in it. That's all I know. Uh, that ma- that, that explains makes, yeah. itself. Yeah. That explains yeah. itself. So, yeah. But I didn't know that until I saw that. I'm like, is this actually real? But apparently it is, so. Wow. That was definitely interesting. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Raven, you were not the father. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what I feel like hosting a podcast every time. I just feel like, what is the guy's name that does that show? Oh, you're talking about the DNA test? Oh, I know you're talking. I don't know his name, but I, know I can't exactly remember his name. But that's about. how this feels like a lot. I know. Time. I know what you're talking about too. And then the the guy's reaction. Sometimes well, well, they'll just oh, run laps or yes. something, and the ca- you know you know the cameraman's got to be like doing cardio <laughs> all the time just to keep up with these people. Oh yeah, because he's he's chasing them down and getting all the angles and, and everything. And the woman's reaction is just priceless too. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! It's true. It's okay, so we did get a girl on the podcast for episode two. It's Raven. He does a spot <laughs> on girl impression. I can do a spot on old woman impression. Let's hear it. Hello, Sonny. How are you doing? Come here, let me stroke your hair. What the? (laughs) (laughs) I've got so many people with that from working. um, From working, I'd be like, hello. I'm like, I'll be right with you. Okay. So I'd be sitting out there waiting. Like, I thought there was an old woman out here. I'm like, no, it's just Just me. me, (laughs) That's fucked up. Anyway, we're probably going to end the episode here. Uh, I'd like to thank Raven for joining us. I appreciate this. Even though I was the last choice, but it was still nice. Thanks for coming out last minute, though. We do appreciate it. Hey, no problem. We do want to apologize for the shorter episode. You know, we got scheduling conflicts with our original guests. So we kind of had to throw out most of those topic ideas and just come up with something on the spot. If you like this style, I mean, we could do more of this, but I'd really prefer not to. But we like feedback. Also, we there will be a video version of this coming up. Uh, on our YouTube, which is B4L Space Podcast. Gotta remember that space. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're listening on any platform other than Spotify, our Spotify is B4L Podcast is one word. And our Instagram is B4L.podcast. And like I said earlier, we'll be posting a Q&A on there, like a poll, where you can just ask us questions that you want us to hear us discuss next episode. I think that'd be a fun little segment to do every episode. And with that, with us uh, having our Instagram, we'll also put updates out of when we're going to post the podcast, when we're going to be, you know, doing things with the podcast, when we start recording, everything else like that. Yeah, you'll get some behind the scenes stuff there. So definitely go follow. If you're listening and don't follow, go follow. And uh, thank you guys for listening. We are B4L and we're out. Peace.